Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss how to write a C++ program sending HTTP GET request. In one of the previous video, we have demonstrated how to write a HTTP a web, a RESTful web service. So we use the web browser to check our web service, HTTP slash is uh, code 192.168.0.107, which my Linux server address, and the part number is 1234, and the resource code player. So let's uh, write it. So this web service reply responds back with three JSON format players. So in this short video, we're going to demonstrate how to write a C code to send HTTP request. The example we're going to demonstrate in this video, so we create a simple application. We have a line editor, which we put the URL, which is web service, and we put a push button. And when we click this button, we try to send a get request to the URL to our web service. And we are going to display the response from web service on this plan text editor. In order to write this program, we have to first uh, in our project file, we have to include network. And uh, in our header file, we have to include four header files. Is one we call the network access manager, and the second is network request, and the network reply, and the URL. So this is our program. Once we click this button, the push button, we come here. So first of all, we clean our plan text editor. Clear. We just make our plan text clean. And we are going to use our network manager to create a instantial object. So we centralize the object, my manager, which is the network access manager, and on this. After that, we have to create a couple of signals. So to use to set up a signals, we use a connect command. So mostly do the connect is my manager, which is the control, and we go to use the signal and of this dialog, and we have the function of slot. So here is the access manager class. So you can check this so we can find the signals. We we'll drop down, down, down. So here is the signals of this access manager. So what we use here, which is the finished signal. So means when we send a request, we're going to waiting the reply finished. So we are going to use the reply finished and the offer. And then we're going to create a slot function here. We create a slot function called my reply finished. So we put here, it's my reply finished. So once we got this, we send the request, we're waiting the finished reply finish, and then we trigger the reply finished slot function here. So we also have to be create another connection, which is to delete this object after finished. So here there's a just a, so when we my manager received the finished 
function, we also trigger this uh, method delete later. So we finished, we run our this uh, slot function and then we delete this object in order to not make memory, you know, uh, memory uh, leaking. So after that, we just uh, send the request and uh, we set up uh, the So we call the create a uh, object called the network reply, which is uh, that is going to my manager, which my access manager send the get means we send the get request. So using the object is uh, my network request, which URL the from our line editor text, and after that we just uh, my reply dot wait for ready read so we set up a, say three seconds wait for timeline for waiting for ready read because we will send the request to our web service and we are, have to wait some time to getting reply finished so after that we just say in our reply finished, this is the reply finished slot. What we are going to do, we are going to US plan text editor append text. Also, we append, see, we append my reply read. Oh, then our sending request program is done. So now let's try to compile this. See. So everything's working. So let's try to run this. So now we have our dialog. So what we're going to do, we send our request HTTP slash 192.168.0.107, part number 1234, and the results called a PLA by player. So let's try to get a request. So now we got a request. Let's compare what we got from the So here we got from the browser. We got the first player is a male intermediate adult membership, male intermediate adult membership called Steven Andrews, Steven Andrews. Mm. And my second player is a male beginner, male beginner, senior membership, senior membership, John Oliver, John Oliver. And then my third request the player response back is a female advanced adult membership, female advanced adult membership, Susan Collin, Susan Collin. And uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, now let's try some public uh, HTTP. Some people write a uh, uh, RESTful web service. You can try, so there's TTP. Uh, one of them is uh, very, very powerful use. So we call the uh, HTTP BIN.org slash get. Let's try this one. So you can see we this is uh, one of uh, people write a demo for web service. So we can make a call. We got this reply. So let's try from our program. So. HTTPS slash slash HTTP BIN dot org slash get. So let's try to get a request. So now we can get a request from this uh, web service. So let's say the argues, argues, headers, headers, accept is text. Okay. And uh, accept encoding, accept encoding is uh, gzip 
D flat, D flat, B R, and accept the language and the root and the original login is 45, 42, 3, 2, 4, 7. 45, 41, 3, 2, 4, 7. And the HTTP B, R, G, GET. So this is our GET request C++ application. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is useful and uh, it's going to be grateful to have to have your feedback. Thank you.